Welcome to CSC Guru. In this session, we will discuss how to write a C program to swap two values or two numbers. So, the first statement in the C is nothing but we need to include the header file. So, hash include with an angle bracket the standard header file is stdio.h. Then here we are not going to use any global variables and we are not going to use any user defined function. So, no need to declare global variables or user defined function here. Directly go to main. Main function is void main. Okay. Then within the curly bracket set, we have to enter the code. And here we are going to swap two values. So, two variables we need to declare here. Here we will declare integer variable itself. So int a comma b. Okay. See we will enter a value with a and that value will be stored in the memory location in the variable name a. Similarly we will enter a value with b and that value will be stored in the memory location with the variable name b. Suppose if you want to exchange those two values in this sense, any memory location should be free. Then only we can able to exchange. So that we need a third memory location that should be an empty memory location. So that the value of A we can able to store with that empty memory location and then the memory location of A will be empty now. That time we can exchange B value with A. Next B value will be empty after exchanging. Then the third memory location where we stored the variable value A, now that we can exchange with B. Okay. So, to exchange any two values in the sense, we need a third empty memory location. In any variable name, we can declare that third value. Okay. That is third empty memory location. For example, here I will consider it as temp. Okay. Next, we need to accept two values. So, printf enter a value using scanf statement accept a value. What is the format specified for integer data type? It is percentage D. Okay. Now accept A value, comma, ampersand A. Okay. Then semicolon. Similarly, we have to accept the second value that is B. Printf enter B value and Accept and store B value with the memory location using scanf statement. Scanf format specifier is percentage D. Amberson. Amberson represents the address. That is the memory location. That always you need to keep in mind. Okay. Now we have accepted A value and we have accepted B value also. Now the purpose is exchange those two values. What is the value stored with the variable A? That should be with the memory location of B. And what is the value stored with the variable B? That should be exchanged to A. Okay. Simply, we are going to exchange two values from A and B. Okay. So, now use the temp variable. That is temp is equal to A. So, here if you are considering in this sense, what is the value stored with the variable A? That will be placed in temp. Okay, after placing in temp, the variable value A will be empty now. The memory location is empty now. Next, what we have to do? A equal to B. So, what is the value stored with the variable B? Now, we are placing that value to A. This is the assignment statement. Whatever the value in the right hand side, that will be assigned to your left hand side variable. In the left hand side, only variable should be there. In the right hand side, if you are considering, even it can be a value or a variable or any expression, that will be simplified to a single value. And that value we can assign to left hand side variable. Okay, so that is the purpose of assignment statement. So now, what is the value stored with the variable B that we are going to assign to a. Now, the memory location of B is empty. Okay. Next, what we have to do it in the sense, B is equal to, already we have stored the value of A with the temp variable in the memory location of temp. Now, what is in the memory location of temp that we are assigning to B? Okay. Next, after exchanging, ask to print the value of A and B. That is, print of a value equal to percentage D and here 
it has to print what is the value stored in the memory location of k okay similarly use print of b value equal to percentage d what is the value stored within the memory location of b ask to print now okay now with this we will execute and simply a return statement at the end this will return control to the operating system once the program execution is completed okay now run the program so if you are executing the program it is raising error see here print of there is a spelling mistake right so here print f okay now we have corrected it now if you are executing the c code it will ask enter a value a value here i am entering 10 okay next it will ask to enter b value b value here i am entering it as 20 okay see here a value was 20 and b value was 10 so previously a value was 10 and b value was 20 it got exchanged okay to print it in next line use slash n here a new line character again if you are executing the c code enter a value a value was 10 enter b value b value was 20 see here a value was 20 and b value was 10 now okay suppose before exchanging if you want to print the a value and b value in the sense the same two printf statements you can add here okay once a value and b value was entered ask a value and b value to be printed okay so here we can include one more printf statement to print a message before swap okay before swap this is the values and here also we will type one more printf statement printf after swap okay now we will execute the c code again so here if you are executing here see here there is an error so here we must the semicolon place the semicolon again execute the c code so again if you are executing enter a value so a value here i am entering it as 50 and b value i am entering it as 100 okay so before swap if you are considering a value was 50 and b value was 100 so here also we need to include one more slash n that is a new line character so that it will be printed in the next line okay so here also slash n execute the c code again a value i'm entering here 50 b value i'm entering here as 100 okay see here before swap a value was 50 b value was 100 after swap a value was 100 and b value was 50 so here if you are considering Whenever we want to exchange two item in the sense, directly we cannot able to exchange because both A memory location and B memory location is occupied. That time we cannot able to exchange directly. Okay, so we need a third empty memory location to exchange those two values. That's why we are including temp here. So this is a new empty memory location to exchange A and B value. Okay, so here place the a value in that temporary memory location then now a memory location is empty then place b value in a then what is the value placed in temp that we can copy to b okay so if this is the main logic these three statements represents the main logic of this swap program okay so this is the simple logic of c code to swap to values Thank you for watching this video.